Hello gamers, it's Lameboy in the house, and today I've got an exciting guide for all of you Necromancer enthusiasts out there. We're diving into the early game build, and there's one skill that's an absolute game changer, Hungering Souls. Now, Hungry Souls isn't just any skill, it's a beast when it comes to tearing through hordes of mobs. And the best part, it's spamble, doesn't really drain up most of your mana pool. This skill is a godsend in the early game, and today, I'm walking you through the path to its mastery. First up, we've got Soul Swarm, an absolute must. This bad boy adds additional projectiles, and trust me, you want that firepower. And I've maxed it out as soon as I could. Then we're on to Dominion of Undeath, and I chose this specifically to cut down the cost of the Soul Swarm. So we gotta keep that balance, especially after juicing up the Soul Swarm skill. But we're not stopping there. Next in line is Risen Cemetery, giving Hurrying Souls an additional chance to spread even more projectiles. Picture this, rooms cleared, mobs defeated, and you standing victorious. That's the power of this build. So if you've been wondering about the perfect route to dominate the early game as an Necromancer, this is it. And I'm having a, having a blast, and trust me, you will too. Um, for the equipments, I just focus on spell damage for the most part, and if there's anything that's minion related, you can just go straight for the minion damage or minion health or both. But anyways, yeah. This should be enough to help you carry through the early game. So if you found this guide helpful or just enjoyed hanging out, show some love, drop a like, hit that subscribe button for more epic content like this. Thanks a bunch for tuning in and until next time, take care and keep on gaming. Peace.